Welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna explain about the differences between rigid and deformable parts. When a part is so much stiffer than the rest of the model, we can neglect its deformation. Then we can model it as a rigid part. As an example, the tools in metal forming can be considered as rigid parts. In deep drawing process, punch, die, and blank holder are rigid parts, and blank is a deformable part. We have two types of rigid parts in abacus, discrete rigid and analytical rigid. You can select the type of your part in part module. We prefer to use an analytical rigid part because it's computationally less expensive and doesn't need to be meshed. Discrete rigid parts can be any arbitrary shape. You can use all the part module feature to create it. However, only discrete rigid parts containing shells in three-dimensional problems and wires in two-dimensional problems can be meshed with rigid elements in the mesh module. In contrast to discrete rigid parts, the shape of an analytical rigid part is not arbitrary. You can use only the following methods to create an analytical rigid part. Create a shell in three-dimensional problem by extrusion of a profile revolution of a profile or create a wire in two-dimensional or axisymmetric problem by drawing a profile. The profile of analytical rigid parts only could include line, arc, less than 180 degrees and parabola. Do you think that is it possible to convert deformable part to rigid part and vice versa? Yes, you can do it easily by clicking mouse button 3 on the part in the model tree and select edit. Then you can choose the type of your part. Question. How can you create a cylinder as an analytical rigid? Extruding a circle? or revolving a line, please comment your answers. If this video has helped you out, please like it. You can also subscribe our channel to watch more helpful videos.